Abino Black, folks, and basically, as you can see, these are the new close known stuff. It's all dated 2013. So I got a bunch of stuff I got to check out. I think it's all way out because what's good about it is Pan Stars is way the hell out. But all of this stuff is like Pan Stars 1, 213, and it's all related to Pan Stars. And, then, and you're going to see in a, in a second here. Hang on. And here is Pan Stars over here on the left hand side. And you don't really get to see it too much because it's positioning the satellite they couldn't get over enough. But we have another one that it's farther away. Just all kinds of different angles. It's the mirrors. It's the mirrors. For crimes. It's just the mirrors. So we got some sechi shots here. And as you can see, it's we're going to come back to this. The Saturn is not what you're going to see uh, flaring up on some other footage. And you got some energy that's coming in through space. We got all kinds of stuff flying around right now. And I mean huge stuff. And yes, there's always the excuse that this is closer, this stuff here, that's closer to the, to the actual satellite and the camera. So, anyway, that's freshest from the 13th there. And then uh, we'll keep plugging away here where when you look at the, it's not, it could be Vesta, one of the ones I'm going to show in a little bit because that's the only thing that we know of that's back out behind the sun right here. And I'll have another JPL that I'll go to. I already think I got this one. And I'll zoom out. We're the farthest out we can, and we got pan, pan stars orbit coming through there, right? And there's Pluto and Neptune, Uranus, the farthest stuff out we know, and then Saturn. But then when you look at the angle of what's getting shot at here, there's nothing that should be out behind Earth. So it's only Vesta that can be flaring. And I think I can take you to that footage in a second. But there, it, this is the most awesome. Because this comet is... We can't really count on... I don't trust the government, number one. And then number, the number two, I don't trust the government. Number three, I don't trust the government. So then I don't trust NASA, number one. Uh, not really. A little bit, but I mean, come on. This thing's going straight. It's not even looping, okay? Now, this is massive distance in space. We can see it, okay? You project that you think it's going to turn. It's coming straight as hell. We've seen it in all the footage I've thrown, but we'll stick with that, okay? It's going to turn. But I don't know if it's going to turn anything close to what they're saying that it was going to turn. Because this is the actual, this is it. This is space showing you right here on the 13th. And we're going to have more footage. But it's going to be out of our view. So we're not really going to, we're going to have to trust by looking at JPL of where it's going to, where, where is it going to, event, who, who cares because it's not going to hit Earth, right? But as you, you get this angle here, okay, it's going to be going, it's basically going straight up a ladder. So this angle that we're getting that they're giving us, if we go to like this, this is more like it because right now it's climbing straight up. So we're going to see this thing for a long time. Hell of a long time. Because I, I can put this on fast forward. Okay? So we're going to see it for a long time to come. And actually, am I going in reverse? No, because I got the table upside down, I think. Because Earth goes around. Yeah. We go around counterclockwise, you see. So as it goes out, and then I'll hit back. And I can hit it real fast, and it will bring pan stars back real fast. But uh, and then we'll get back down to the footage here. Here comes pan stars back. So, I mean, this thing went straight up like a rope, coming through anything that we can see. Okay, so it's huge, and there you go and what the scary thing is is they're blocking something out around right here and i'm going to keep showing this this is just amazing here it's this it's just like you, you never from now and it's just great for the footage we think every branch of the military and we love this but what's scary is what are they blocking out right here below earth between that distance of pan stars and over there because right there what's getting blocked out and what's lovely is we get more, and as you keep seeing that block, I'm going to keep showing you that block box right there. I mean, it's right there. You can't miss it. They're blocking something out of the footage right there. There's something. Okay. And then what I've been showing you from what we could show other stuff is like closer to the sun. It's like we know that there's they're blocking something out there. And you can see it from far away here until you watch. You'll see that blockage. They're blocking that right there. I'll just leave my cursor. They're blocking right there. There's something there. And the tail of the comet also proves that all these magneticals, that these two objects here, and you go back to JPL right now, because we got Mercury over here. Now there's a good chance, 
we if this pretty much matches up what we're seeing in the black and white really don't think that that's venus because venus should be a higher than mercury i think and then so these planets are here no matter what in our solar system because remember they're trying to tell us that this well yeah it come by our solar system or in our solar system it's coming through our solar system so no matter what these two planetoid objects there that's what we've been seeing before these two planets here are within our solar system so they hold a comet they hold a comet huh it's a comet it's a falling star it's something okay and we got plenty of other stuff that's coming like I gave you that data and I got to crunch all that I got to find out where all that stuff's at okay and beyond JPL and you can't miss Mercury's there now what we had was uh, now we'll keep on zooming in you want to watch that I'll be zooming back in on the moon and showing you this, how far off stars glimmer and so forth but here we were getting you know the sun's off to the right and we're getting flares because we know that this is earth down here okay that's earth right there okay but there's something lower here as you can see there so we'll be able to see that in a couple days to come too and I'll go up on size and live it and yes up high there's also something way up high and this is from uh, I believe we get this is from a yep as we come up the ladder there's something below earth so basically there is something right there okay I'm up at 400 and then there might even be something a little bit closer below Earth too because that's not the comet, okay? That's not the comet because it's going straight up and down just like Mercury and, and I mean on the magnetical course. So there's a lot of stuff. Now this could be the comet, that E50 or whatever, that 20 that was the closest thing on the 10th or something like that because this is the 13th. But I kind of doubt that. Then either that or it held a hell of a long tail. No matter what, there's stuff below Earth flaring. Because you can see that right there. You can't miss this here where I got my cursor. But you can't miss that. I'm only at 400, but you can go up. And then basically, this is too damn big to be Vesta. And there's no, absolutely no way you back up the footage. And I can even plop around real fast here and go to, and remember the sun's over here on the right. And no matter what, so statically wise, you can't blame the sun for doing this CME, this 360 CM. <laughs> we had today on the 15th so anyway uh, I just wanted to play that so here on on h12b you can see just with getting that little bit of the tail that that, that that's right there you know you can just see it because that's the farthest out shot and you can just see how huge it must be you know and then the idea that uh, you really can't see it from a uh, I'll try to pull footage of that and actually I guess but duh I got it right here so you really can't see it from A it's uh, the angle so uh, it's huge and that flaring I just figured can only be Vesta uh, and it's just it's astounding and what the astounding is is the blockage of whatever the heck they're blocking right there I'll keep my cursor and you just watch it. They're blocking something out right there. Who knows how far out, but it's in our solar system. All this stuff's in our solar system. These planets to the right are in our solar system. That could possibly be Venus there to the left down here, but I really don't think. I think it's that object that we found, and we know that's in the solar system. So, and this is here, and this is here, and thank you, Pan Stars, for coming through and letting us know because. It just, and I was already showing everybody that it was there because we've seen it from CMEs before, but now we see it from the tail flopping behind the magneticals way out. So this stuff is in our solar system right here. These two planets here. And they're moving, they're moving clockwise. They're not moving counterclockwise like, and then if they're extra moons or whatever, the planetoid objects, doesn't matter what they are because you're not going to miss it. There's Mercury mark there. They sure didn't mark that Venus anyway either, do they? They don't tell you that that's Venus. Because this is moving, like I, I, I say again, and you can see with your eye, it is moving clockwise. Everything that we know rotates counterclockwise around the sun. We rotate counterclockwise around the sun. And this thing's just going straight through the flipping solar system. Okay, straight through. 
straight through like Earth. If Earth was decided to say, hey, we're leaving. If any of our planets in our solar system say, hey, we're leaving Dodge, we'd go just like this. Just like pan stars. Straight up the ladder. Upper magnetical. <laughs> Only puppet strings. So, great footage. Thanks every branch of the U.S. military. <laughs> Only buckets. So, anyway. Can't say there's nothing that we're that much alone in. I mean, you know, planetoid, Earth, you know, there's a lot of real estate out there. So, anyway. Pretty amazing. And the tail pr proves the fact because it's behind. That tail is out behind those magnetic lines of those planetoid objects there. And let's go, let's go just see, see how high Venus would be on a plate that we know that they everything orbits around the sun. Okay, let's end the movie like that. And basically, I can come down on this one. This one, I had this one going. This one's going crazy. But as you can see, see, all the way around, Venus is up high with Jupiter. And let's zoom in on that a little bit. It doesn't even matter about the dates and times. I got it going back in 1978. Big deal, you know. You know what I'm saying? And it's going fast. And as you see, Venus stays pretty much level with Mercury. And, and then up high. So then I'm going to hurry up and get us right back to now. We can go to the other JPL that I've got. And we can go to now. And I even blew us up here. And this is going to finish out on the video because it's just, just going to... If you just need to concentrate on the fact that you know, I was showing you before, now we're going to be zooming in and out, and I can flatten this out on our plane, and everything rotates around, as you've seen there on the, the, the other plane, that everything rotates around. Now, see, Vesta goes high and low. You see what we're saying? But you see where Vesta's at right now. It's behind Earth. So basically, it's the only thing, because I can zoom all the way out, and it's the only thing that should be up behind Earth flaring. So back up the footage, and I can even pop over to that footage for that but as you see we come in and we take a look at Venus since we got it blown up good and then we can level out and basically as you see there that Venus is still level or if anything higher it's level with Mercury see that's what we want to know and that, so that's a planet we found below the Sun because that's the number one thing too. This thing has been low on the sun. Okay. And then right now too, even with Saturn over here, and I'll swing over to Earth over here again. You see this magnetic line right there? Okay. And I'm only at 400 for crying out loud. Okay. That's not Saturn. Okay. Saturn's back farther. Saturn's marked over there. That's not Saturn. Okay. So there's even something there that we're not being able to see. They're not showing us. Okay. Because there's Mercury in Earth there, but basically you're not going to see nothing here on this shot because I've already showed you. We'll just plop through them real fast here. I'll go back. I don't even remember what I got there, but there's the comet tail there on on, on Sechi B. And then we get uh, along here with this, and that's basically... I, I'm not even going to take time to edit that out. But we're... You know, this is just... This is astounding. It's great because we're finding all this stuff here along here way down here by that where it says frame at there was something flashing there I'll stay on the outside you can see it flashing there and we've got earth and there's something below earth there and then thank you comet pan stars and thank you pan stars the the uh, satellite over in Australia because they're the one that originally found this thing and then we find out all this stuff is in because you know that that's not Venus it's too damn low there's Earth in here in the platitude, and then this object's in space, and it's going clockwise. It's not going counterclockwise. That is not Venus. That is absolutely not Venus. Absolutely not Venus. It's too damn low, because Venus would be up here somewhere with Earth and stuff like that, and this isn't Venus over here, okay? And that stuff is also going clockwise, not counterclockwise. We all spin counterclockwise, and now I'll pull the map out, because basically that's what I've been trying to... Everybody all the time, you know, everything rotates counterclockwise around the sun, okay? This thing's just taking a trip through our solar system. 
and we don't know what the hell it is or what this other stuff 